So hi, it's uh, John Reed Hack for Western Mass. Uh, I started with seeds, so it's only fitting that I would end with trees, right? Don't you think? Yes. So we've got uh, uh, Lily and Hillary. So tell me uh, who you are and kind of why you showed up this weekend. Well, so I'm kind of an all-around geek, uh, jack of all trades, master of none, and always interested in. Uh, especially civic hacking. I love the idea of, you know, volunteering technology skills to do something that benefits everybody. And I'm a little overcommitted in general, but the advantage of a hackathon is the idea that, you know, we're just going to work on this in a concentrated short period of time and see what we can get done in that period of time. And it's been really fun. And you're a coder. I... I Kinda, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can make things that work. It's okay. not always the, uh, the prettiest on the back end, but we have another wonderful developer sure. working, so thank goodness. And what about you? What brought you here? Uh, so I, I really brought the proposal forward because I've been a citizen of Northampton engaged in tree advocacy for many years, frustrated by the inefficiencies in matching sites appropriate for planting trees and trees themselves. And I so see. what I've observed is a now a, um, a negative relationship between tree planting and tree removal. In other words, we're losing our tree canopy in Northampton, and we need to aggressively step up tree planting. So mm -hmm. I thought that information technology could be applied to this problem to make it easier to identify, for ordinary citizens to identify spots where trees could be planted. Mm -hmm. To take that information, um, have it immediately go onto a, a map and have the team of tree planters go at it. And has that proven to be the case? Well, uh, we are working on yeah. just that application where gotcha. someone can take their smartphone, stand on a spot where they think a tree can be planted, and send us that information. So that's very exciting. And mm. we are going to have a prototype ready by the end of today. Yes, we wow. I mean, we have a kind of a proof of concept working, uh, yeah. and we do have a domain name that we are in the process of acquiring, which is nohotrees.org, right? Okay. Yep. And so basically it's gonna be a web app, and what we're hoping to do eventually is ha like have a QR code posted, somebody can just take their phone, go to the code, they'll be bumped right to the website where they just say, okay, share my location, type in their email address, why they think a tree would be good here, and then it goes to the team. So tell me, you guys sound like you kind of really have your act together. Was it like that from the beginning? Or like, what did it take to get everyone on the same page and get going on this? Well, we're total strangers to each other. Okay. So, uh, you know, we had to go through the process of brainstorming a million ideas, boiling right. it down, saying what can we accomplish in this very finite time, and yeah. being very realistic about our goals. And it's, it's really interesting because when you start with, oh, we could do this and this and this, and it's all these great yeah. ideas, which would be wonderful to do eventually, but then when you go get down to what can we do by tomorrow, mm. that even the, you know, the most basic is exciting. You know, yeah. We may not be able to do all the wonderful things that we dreamed up, immediately but if we can get something working it's awesome so you made some hard choices about narrowing the scope of what you were doing it, it, so you it, could it came out very very quickly easily actually. and yeah. quickly mm -hmm. yeah i think everybody basically agreed what's the bottom line is have a person be able to easily report a site where they want to see a tree mm -hmm. that's the bottom line do you see some advantages in doing this over a weekend versus like a convent more conventional project which takes place over a longer period of time but maybe you're not all in the same room in the same place or absolutely i mean it, it, it generates excitement and enthusiasm and we are bringing together i mean it was a really interesting assortment of people that we ended up with very evenly divided between back-end people, front-end people, and community ideas people, and mm -hmm. we worked together really well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think if we'd had to set up meetings and, you know, we'd just drag out forever. Yeah, I mean, we all reserve this one weekend of our life fully for this project, and that's ra a rare thing to be able to do, mm. and to just say, I'm not going to think about anything else this entire weekend except for this. And... You know, and, and also there's something in momentum when you have that much concentrated time, you, you can really go deep and you can build momentum. And when you right. sort of stagger out meetings month after month, things get in the way between those meetings. 
Um, so I, I think it's a really brilliant concept. I love that we have, I just love that we're kind of taking back and owning the term hack, you know, mm. and applying hack to some, some solving really important social problems. Mm. So I, I love it. I love the concept. Uh, I'm, you know, kind of proud to be part of the first year of this happening, and I, I can see it really growing in future years. Mm -hmm. and, and also not just, it, not it just being this one project, but this project being part of this hackathon, which yeah. is many very exciting projects and getting to bounce ideas off people on other teams, and there's, you know, cross-pollination going on, and then knowing that we're part of this national effort. It's right. Uh, that it, all of that momentum The backdrop builds. of the national movement. Yeah, and one thing I think will be interesting to try to overcome is a little bit of the perception around, it's not just the negative perception around hacking, but that sense that hacking is really tied to coding. So would you say that anyone who's invested in the community projects in some way in advancing them could find a role in these things, or do you have to oh, have absolutely, more? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we were talking about this yesterday that, you know, as developers, we need guidance on what needs to get done and what, what the goals are, and, and we need designers and we need community people, and yeah, it's not definitely not all about the code. Well, I don't want to be the one standing in the way of you getting your app done. So let's get you out of the right. shoot, so get much. your app done, and good luck at the presentation. We'll see you in a little bit.